Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome dear learners this is a video for the subject of education for the course of bachelor's in education and for the paper of educational technology part 2 this video lecture is based on emerging technologies and issues in educational technology and this lecture is the introductory part of the keller plan or personalized system of instruction also called as psi this video lecture is recorded by dr iram khan the course coordinator and the presenter of this video is dr iram khan from jamia millia islamia new delhi the academic expert or the reviewer of this video is professor nasreen mujib of aligarh muslim university aligarh this video is produced under the project dth swayam prabha channels of ministry of education government of india hello dear learners i am dr iram khan assistant professor at institute of advanced studies in education faculty of education jamia millia islamia new delhi today we will be discussing a topic related to emerging technologies and issues in educational technology and this topic is based on the keller plan or personalized system of instruction in short we can also call it psi and this is an introductory uh, lesson for the psi or the keller plan the objectives of this session are to discuss the meaning and definition of keller plan or personalized system of instruction then to elaborate the major objectives of keller plan or psi the personalized system of instruction or psi owes its origin to professor fred s keller who along with some of his associates whose name were j gilmer sherman Carolina Bori and Rudolf Azzi all these four people put forward the idea of this new system which is known as the personalized system of instruction in the year 1963 basically it was march of 1963 and they applied it initially in the teaching of a new psychology program in the university of columbus and in the honor of its main inventor who was fred s keller the personalized system of instruction was also at times called as the keller plan the personalized system of instruction was basically conceived on on the ideas or basically uh, taking care of the application of b f skinner's theories of learning grounded in the operant conditioning strategies of behaviorism so the developers of the keller plan or the system of psi were highly inspired and influenced by the prevalent individualized instructional system which is also known as the programmed instruction which was developed by professor b f skinner we all know him and he was from the harvard university and this programmed instruction by b f skinner Uh, was developed in the year 1950 so what actually happened they tried to enlarge these people keller and the group they tried to enlarge its scope the scope of the programmed instruction of uh, bf skinner and they tried to give it a new shape for making its use with the students of higher classes and higher learning their search for a new and better system of individualized instruction was aimed to evolve a system that can be enabling that can be enabling and what kind of enabling uh, this system should be doing they have given certain points that what would be those pointers on which the system should be making an enabling decision so basically these points are the first point is to provide larger frames than those which are provided by the prevalent programmed instruction system then the next point is to possess more flexibility and adaptability according to the teaching learning situations more than 
the programmed instruction then introduce a personal social element to the teaching learning process and to bring a significant change in the role of the teacher from a uh, uh, like the teacher's role was very mere in that program so what they said that to bring a significant change in the role of the teacher from a mere information giver or a person who gives information to the engineer or uh, a kind of uh, manager of the learning of all the individual students who are the part of the learning. So these are the four basic uh, uh, points which Keller plan intends to evolve, which are more and more advanced than the program instruction on which the basic premises of Keller plan are actually um, developing. So this were the those four points which we have to see that the Keller plan encompasses better than the programmed instruction of uh, B.F. Skinner. So it was very much evident by the time that Keller and his associates were trying to make improvement in the program instruction of uh, B.F. Skinner. And in order to, uh, to do that type of uh, evolution or making uh, kind of certain improvements, they were involved in a lot of researches and experiments. So all these research uh, studies and experiments resulted uh, into a new system and it gave birth to this new system of instruction, which is known as the personalized system of instruction. Let us try to see that what exactly is the meaning of personalized system of instruction and what are those popular definitions which we can consider when we are uh, uh, talking about the personalized system of instruction. So as the name suggests, it stands for a system of instruction which is totally personalized or we can also say that it depends on the needs of an individual. So it is very much individualized. In this system, the person or the individual who receives the instruction is the key figure, is at the center. So this person or this individual dominates the entire scene of the teaching learning process. The decisions on what uh, all the process or the study uh, is going to uh, happen uh, that exists in a piece of instruction and how it is to be carried out. That is made according to the needs, the interests, and abilities of the person or the individual learner. So in this way, the instructions are carried out and received by the individual learner in his or her own way by making this particular individual a central figure of the teaching learning process. So we can say that it is a better process. But let us see that what exactly are the like major details or related to the meaning and the definitions of the personalized system of instruction. So we have seen that the individual is at the center. Now the individual has been made the central figure of the teaching learning process. For understanding and knowing more about the meaning and the concept of this term, uh, which is personalized system of instruction or PSI or the Keller plan, let us try to see a few of those opinions or uh, the definitions which are given by some of the known scholars. So the first definition which I'm going to mention is the definition given by Green in the year 1974. According to Green, the personalized system of instruction which gets its name from the fact that each student is served as an individual by another person. Face to face and one to one in spite of the fact that the class may number 100 students. It is suitable for course for which the student is expected to acquire a well defined body of knowledge or skill. The majority of college course the PSI teacher expects almost all of his students to learn his material well and it's, it, prepare, it is prepared uh, to avoid 
high grades to those who do regardless of their uh, relative standing in the class. He accepts the responsibility of meeting this goal within the normal limits of manpower, space and equipment. This is the definition given by Green. And you can see that how much he is giving emphasis to that particular person who is at the center of the education process or the teaching learning process. The entire process uh, which is either a face-to-face -face process or one-to-one -one process or maybe in, in few of the cases uh, a lot of uh, students are uh, getting educated or get uh, being taught all of them are considered to be at the center of the particular course or the teaching learning process so the, this definition gives a sneak peek that what exactly we can uh, how we can define the personalized system of instruction let us see few more so that it can be the, the meaning of personalized system of instruction can be demystified in front of us the next definition which i wish to mention in front of you is given by naper in the year 1980 according to him under quotes personalized system of instruction is basically a self-paced mastery learning in which the students work independently on the specifically designed curriculum units. Every unit is provided with the objectives and instructions regarding the reading assignment and the related problems. When a student feels that he has got mastery over the subject matter, he may undergo a brief test on that unit. It is essential for a student to get through this unit test for being allowed to work on the next unit. Scoring of these unit tests is carried out promptly by the proctor or a student observer. Quotes close. You can see that this definition given by Naper in the year 1980 is a little bit better than the one which we have just seen given by green because this particular definition gives an explanation that how the entire personalized system of instruction is going to work it will be self-paced it is going to work on uh, the on the basis of uh, uh, one to one interaction and also there will be continuous evaluation and if we are uh, we supposedly are willing to go to the next unit first we have to get mastery in the uh, in the unit which on which we are right now at and once we are done with this unit then we can move to the next unit and the entire process is also uh, being checked or you can say that uh, uh, guided by somebody who is considered to be the proctor this person can be even a student observer so each and every small small details neighbor has actually given in his definition so we have seen that uh, the two definitions which we have just uh, discussed they enable us to derive some of the conclusions regarding the nature and the characteristics of the personalized system of instruction let us chop down uh, those uh, minute details so that it will be better for us to explain that what exactly we mean by personalized system of instruction. So the first point is that personalized system of instruction is a system of instruction in which instruction can be carried out on personal basis by serving an individual learner individually according to his or her own needs and interests. Then the next point is that the individual learner can work independently and maintain his or her progress according to his or her own pace. So this is also somehow very interesting that even the pace of the learner can be maintained on the basis of whatever the learner is willing to. Then the next point is that the subject matter can be divided into well-sequenced larger units and each student is provided with the necessary instructions and material facilities for going through these units one by one under the supervision and guidance of the well-trained 
केपेबल प्रॉक्टर्स और द स्टूडेंट सुपरवाइजर्स देन द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इज दैट द इंडिविजुअल लर्नर इज रिक्वायर्ड टू अक्वायर मास्टरी ओवर द सब्जेक्ट मैटर एंड दिस द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर इंडिविजुअल इज नेवर कंपेयर्ड विद द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ एनी ऑफ द फेलो कलीग्स और फेलो स्टूडेंट्स so this individual can test his or her performance by appearing in a unit test and in case this individual passes this test this person may take the next successive unit without waiting for other fellow students to complete their respective units so it is basically a very self dependent kind of learning situation where where if i am studying i am i am taking up a unit and i feel that now i am well acquainted with the unit i can go for the unit test and if i pass the unit test then i can move on to the next unit and i must not be like i don't have to wait for my fellow uh, peer group members that uh, once they are done with their process then only i can move ahead with them so it is somehow very very much individualized then here the learning is the responsibility of the learner because everything is decided by the learner so in this psi uh, basically the instruction which is required uh, like very mature type of instructions are required uh, necessary maturity on the part of learners is uh, required so that uh, the best suited results best results can be obtained and in case of a college course uh, or uh, in case of a school course again we have to see that uh, a little bit of uh, uh, time bound uh, or restrictions kind of things are there so we have to see that how we are going to complete the course which suits the school or college's needs then the personalized system of instruction uh, can be carried out within the normal classroom facilities how basically the manpower the manpower or the human resource can be well arranged by the training uh, how how we can arrange basically we can go for searching those capable students who have acquired mastery over the subject matter like in due course of time there are senior students who are already like acquainted with the Uh, previous uh, class or the uh, the subject matter of the pre previous class so they can be trained for becoming the uh, proctor or you can say that for uh, becoming the supervisor or to supervise the, and guide their fellow students to acquire mastery through their own independent efforts so this is somehow a kind of mentorship which is given to the senior students so they also become the part of the teaching learning process of their fellow colleagues who are junior to them or who are coming after them so this is a beautiful aspect of this individualized or the personalized system of instruction so in this way the personalized system of instruction can be defined as a system of instruction capable of providing individualized instructions on personal basis to the individual learners for acquiring mastery over the subject matter according to their own pace by an individual teacher with the help of a few capable student learners who can be called as the proctors so this can be a small and crisp definition of personalized system of instruction let us see few of those major objectives which can be considered to be the part of the uh, or the basis of this uh, personalized system of instruction so what can be the major objectives of the personalized system of instruction the first objective can be to help in the establishment of better personal social relationship between the teacher and the student the second objective can be to provide better individual attention 
towards the individual learner in the shape of face-to-face -face and one-to-one -one personal contact. The next objective can be to help the learner in acquiring mastery over the subject matter of uh, the individual's learning with his or her own pace. The next objective can be to make provision for the frequent and prompt reinforcement to the learners. The next objective can be to make provision for the multimedia approach for providing information to the learner than relying on the lecture method alone. So here you can see that uh, because of the individualized nature, the multimedia, like use of multiple resources, multiple media uh, uh, led resources can be used for making the process of teaching learning better. So here uh, it is like we are not going to rely only on the lecture method. Then the next objective can be to transform the role of a teacher from the dispenser of information to the engineer or the contingency manager. Like what exactly we mean by the contingency manager? Like this teacher is going to take the role of or the ownership of the learning of his student, his or her student. So basically what will be the objective? To transform the role of a teacher from the provider of information to the engineer or the manager of the learning of the students. And then the last objective can be to provide proper feedback to the teacher for a meaningful revision in the program content and instructional procedure, which is a must because what happens at times, a lot of redundant material is also the part it, it is uh, if it is the part of the system and the teacher is not getting uh, some sort of feedback then all, then what happens that even after the material gets uh, outdated it it becomes the like it uh, remains to be the part of the curriculum so it is always necessary to get the feedback and to see that what are the need of the time or what what is needed by the students and accordingly the, the content or the instructional procedure should be revised by the teachers and the curriculum developers, those people who are uh, the part of the team who is deciding the content. So if we are uh, going ahead with this type of uh, uh, instructional techniques, we will be updated because we will be working for the student who is at the center of the entire process. The need of the student the requirement of the student is taken care of and according to the feedback which is getting uh, which is being received from the student the entire process the content development the pedagogy the methodology basically or even the instructional procedure is going to be revised so it will become very much a student friendly and a, a student centric process of providing the uh, education to the learners. So let us summarize what we have uh, studied today in this introductory part of the uh, topic, which, uh, which was based on personalized system of instruction or PSI. Uh, the origin and the development of the system is done by a very renowned professor and the colleagues of this professor who's named uh, as Fred S. Keller. And he did this task of developing this particular system in the year 1963. And in honor of him, the PSI or the personalized system of instruction is also named as the Keller plan. The roots and the developmental sequences of this instructional system may be linked to the prevalent and at that particular time which was uh, the most uh, popular scheme or most popular system uh, of individualized instructional uh, provisions or uh, the individualized instructional system which was known as the programmed instruction developed by Professor B.F. Skinner of Harvard University in the year 1950. 
So the roots of PSI or personalized system of instructions are in this uh, system which was developed by B.F. Skinner called as programmed instruction. Uh, we have uh, seen that programmed instruction has got the, uh, the idea uh, coming from the operand conditioning theory of B.F. Skinner. So the propagators of PSI were highly influenced by the success of uh, the Skinner system or the uh, system of operant conditioning. They tried to enlarge its scope and gave it a new shape for making its use with the individual students at the most personal level. And they also tried to, uh, to see that how the system can be used not only for school students, also for the higher education levels. And that is why the, this system of uh, personalized uh, instruction came into practice. Then uh, we have also seen that uh, here the PSI, uh, which refers to a system of instruction, is capable of providing individualized instructions on personal basis to the individual learners for acquiring mastery over the subject matter according to their own pace by an individual teacher with the help of a few capable student learners who are called as proctors in this case. And we have also seen this and uh, we can appreciate this that in this system, the student who is uh, taking the charge of this entire process, the self-learning process, is at the center of the uh, teaching learning process. So it's a totally uh, student centric or uh, um, the individual centric process. And here the help of the capable students, the senior students who are called as proctors is also taken. So this somehow uh, it's uh, appreciable and the system is, is having a lot of uh, important aspects. There are a few more sessions in which we are going to discuss some more aspects of the uh, personalized system of instruction or the Keller plan uh, so that uh, many aspects related to the system will be clear to you all. These are few of those references and we suggested further readings or uh, the links which were uh, used while developing the session. You can also go ahead and read more by the help of these study material uh, for today thank you so much we will see each other in another session another time thank you so much dear students you were watching a video based on emerging technologies and issues in educational technology and in this particular lecture we discussed the introductory part of the keller plan or personalized system of instruction also called as psi this video lecture was recorded by faculty at home during the homebound situation of COVID-19 pandemic using minimal technical resources. Technical errors, if any, are unintentional and may please be ignored. For any queries with regard to this lecture or broadcast, kindly send your email to techsupport at dth.ac.in. Thank you so much.